First of all, we need to prepare the coordinate file which can contain each joint coordinate x and y coordinate and the value of u which get it from the MATLAB code. So now we have the x coordinate of the joints and the y coordinate of the joints and the phi values corresponding to each coordinate. Then you will save this file and open Microsoft the surfer, sorry. We will open the surfer if there is not a new plot. So all we are going to do a new plot. First of all, we will go to the home and add grid data. So we will bring this file, which the Excel file that I have, which is to surfer. I open this file. He will ask me column A contains X coordinates. Yes, column B contains Y coordinates. Column C contains the Z coordinates, which is the phi values. Then I said OK, or read the file, give you a report, close this report, you don't need it. So we will transform this Excel file which had been graded by the surfer to a contour map. Yes, this is the file that has been transformed, which is becomes from Excel to surfer. So we will open it at contour. So this is the contour lines. So what we need is just to remove this part from the control lines. So we will click on the map and open the map tools, digitize. Now we are going to create a shape file for the area that we need to plot, which is this area. So we will start with this point, then this point, then this point, until we end at the same point that we start at. So digitize. Let's just try at 0 and 0, so I'll try my best to pick the point 0 and 0. So whatever I did, I'll not pick it accurately. So well, what I'm going to do is just edit it at 0 and 0. Then the second point is 3 and 0, so it's this point. I'll do my best to make it 3 and zero here this is the point coordinates or the boundary lines for the area that we are dealing with and let's go to the third point which is nearly it's this point which i know it's value it's a three and one so it's here three and one and the fourth point is this point, which is four and four and one. Yes, right, exactly. And this is oh, control Z. This is the point I ended at four and one. So this is the second point. Let's click digitize. Yes, I ended at four and one. So the second point is four and two. Oh, so it's another file. I need it to be in the same file. problem so this becomes the rest that we did control x and then we will see digitize start with this point but before this point we will are going to put the four that we did so this point is 4 and this point is 2 so we got the coordinates of this point then go just don't forget to do to click enter to go to the sixth point which is this don't mess up that like the last step we did so here is this point is 0 and this point is Two. 
and this is the last point which is 0 and 0 so we will go back to 0 and 0 just copy the same point here and put it here so we have 7 point 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and we will file we will save this file so let's save it as field finite element and save it close this and let's do something at grids so we will pick assign no data and we will choose the file the original file that we have which is tool surfer and we will pick here no data polygon which is this polygon but you will ask me a question there is a data here but there is not a data in the part that we subtracted so what we are going to say here is no data outside this area that we created and we will say OK so a file is called outgrid has been assigned to no data so what we are going to do is just plot the contours in this area so we will go to the map yes here this is we need to make it just as contours so we will open another file here project so we will go this is our new map this is our old map so yes here is this file so we will change this from to surfer to the file that we just created which is this one out just open it and let's remove this and it will be like this if you put the color map so it will be like that so now we remove the data which is here so this is our control lines of fee that's all